So this is the last warm-up lesson before Cal Newport and I reopen our popular course, Life of Focus. During the three months of the course, we'll guide you through structured exercises designed to increase the quality of the time you spend at work and at home. The quality of your life is determined by what you choose to pay attention to. Attention determines your work, it determines whether you make strides in important, challenging tasks or wasted on frivolous efforts. It determines whether you get everything done in a timely manner and leave your evenings free or whether you feel compelled to push work into the weekends just to get things done. Attention determines your mood. It determines whether you feel inspired or engaged to help those around you or whether you spend your days afraid or angry at the things you can't change. Attention determines your relationships. It determines whether you cultivate deeper bonds with the people who matter most or whether you're checked out and distant. Attention determines your experience. Ultimately, the things we pay attention to simply are our lives. The narrow window of our minds are directed towards some things and not others, and our lives are a series of choices about which things to focus on. Unfortunately, attention is also largely automatic. We don't usually make a deliberate choice about what to pay attention to. Instead, our attention is driven by instincts that evolved over millions of years in an environment that barely resembles our modern life. Instincts which are not always a reliable guide about what to pay attention to in a healthy and fulfilling life. Building a life of focus isn't about eliminating entertainment, focusing excessively on personal productivity, or adopting a monomaniacal focus. Instead, it's more basic. It's about reclaiming some of our attention and aiming it at the things we choose rather than the things that have been chosen for us. In work, life of focus means that you deliberately decide what matters, not just for checking off the to-do list, but the work that will become your legacy. At home, a life of focus means you cultivate attention for the things that enrich your life and leave out the stuff that leaves you feeling empty, anxious, or angry. In your mind, a life of focus means that you learn and build rather than passively consume. Very soon, Cal Newport and I will be reopening our course, Life of Focus. The course is a three-month program designed to help you reclaim your attention. In the first month, we'll increase our capacity for deep work, the sustained engagement that we need to do to do work that matters. In the second month, we'll do a digital declutter, rethinking our relationship to social media and electronic devices so we can keep what enriches our lives and leave out what doesn't. Finally, in the third month, we'll tackle a project to learn or build something valuable to us, a chance to engage deeply in something we can be proud of with the time and energy we've regained. Life of Focus is our most popular course for a reason. I hope to see you in the course and we can start building a Life of Focus together. The link to get started is in the description below.